Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Wednesday, the 6th of March. So, looking at the euro dollar first, and well, we saw a continued sell off yesterday, and well, mm, double bottoming at the moment, but uh, could, could expect more of the same. There's not a lot here to suggest otherwise at the moment, aside of the, uh, well, as I say, there's a bit of a double bottom. We've got the daily pivot just above, which will probably uh, has a reasonable chance of getting hit this morning we may push through that a little bit as I'm looking at the sort of the uh, 50 MA sitting above there the 3450 then may sort of uh, may just see price run up to that I mean it just didn't have the legs to do it yesterday I mean we saw the same sort of price action um, earlier Sean it sort of moved up a little bit just before uh, around about eight o'clock time and then just couldn't get up any further and uh, well we'll see it uh, might get a little bit more of a, a movement let's just uh, check the Mine is okay, a little bit of a divergence probably going on there, soft divergence running up. So um, that will have to uh, sort itself out this morning. So um, that's where we are there with the euro. Um, still remain bearish, it's just looking for opportunities to sell it. Pound. Pound, well, managed a bit of a recovery yesterday and ended up with this sort of doji candle, but it sold off from that. Um, it didn't last long. Uh, Brexit negotiators uh, come away without any uh, further a deal, which was uh, as expected. So probably didn't, not a big shock to the market. But again, we so we've got the sort of uh, well, daily pivot it has actually been here, but it is just pushing up a little bit towards it at the moment. May need to just watch this this morning a little bit. It may, um, I mean, may put in a lower, high, a higher low rather uh, uh, this morning and carry on but uh, my preference is to short it so I really I mean it's hit that 6050 a number of times now and I'm just wondering whether it'll hold um, uh, for a sell point that's one area I'd be looking to sell the other area would be uh, if it starts breaking down um, post um, let me see if I can get a trend line on here of some sorts let's see what's my trend lines Check a trend line across there. There we go. So if, I, if it starts breaking down this sort of level here, it might just uh, draw draw me into a short the short side of this market. But uh, for now, just need to see if it, uh, where it pulls to the upside with the uh, potential selling. Okay, that's the pound, uh, dollar yen. I mean, it's finally loads. It's really cat. I mean, it's at 60 minutes, says it all. And you look at the dailies, and it's just chopping along sideways at the moment. Nothing much to be done there from an intraday point of view at the moment. But uh, maybe if we see some strength coming through and it breaks at uh, 4 hourly 21, it could uh, could settle back to the weekly pivot. It's uh, it's just not really, uh, for me, a day trading currency at the moment. So I'll step aside and leave that. Aussie dollar. Um, not a big surprise. We've finally broken the uh, the lows that were sort of uh, prices been bouncing around there. The GDP data for Australia came in at 0.2 versus 0.5 expectation, so uh, failed to uh, meet. And as I said earlier in the week, um, it uh, does look soft there. And uh, sure enough, it's a big sell off there. Now where to? Well. It's not like we really can do that. I mean, it, it, any any sort of decent rally may be a sell point with it. It's um, as I say, it's broken on the dailies, um, key support level. So, looking weak. Um, Canadian dollar. These markets are not brilliant at the moment now. Uh, Canadian dollar. We've got the Bank of Canada meeting today at 3 p.m. So I wouldn't be looking to do anything with this, even if I did day trade it. It would be off the list a little bit today, unless it was a, 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 something really early. But uh, it's slowing down in its uh, rally here. Um, it might we might see a correction, but uh, um, there's not been a lot in data-wise to uh, cheer us up. Um, starting from last Friday, when it met, uh, missed its GDP data, and uh, it's just been trickling along since then. And well, best left alone, I think, until after the uh, Bank of Canada. Uh, team meet so that's pretty much it so news today we've already had the gdp for australia um the pound we got uh, for the pound we got uh, mpc member cunliffe speaking he's due to speak at the london school of economics oh, gripping meeting that will be um i don't expect too much to come from that because they've all been saying what they've uh, their thoughts already been sharing their thoughts um 
ADP non farms at 115 could get some volatility sitting around that there's more uh, more and more focus on the jobs uh, again and that may create some volatility aside of that as I said Bank of Canada are meeting at three um, the IV, uh, Canadian IV PMI later on there oh sorry that's at three as well so all coming out together so that will mess the uh, muddy the waters uh, a couple of FMS, FOMC speakers, Fed speakers later on um, at 5 p.m. But uh, they're due to speak at the Economic Club of New York, another gripping club. So um, that's it. Um, not not masses of data out there today. So we're left to the uh, technicals. Have a great one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.